Good morning. I am in my lovely, lovely hotel. It's like a palace or a castle. I mean, it's gorgeous and it was so nice to arrive. Filthy and with a dirty bike and for them not to bat an eyelid and just lead me straight to their well-equipped bike room. I mean, it just was so, so nice. So here in Spain, you don't generally, or at least not in the hotels I've stayed in, you don't have to check out until 12, which is nice. I am going to have some breakfast and have a little wander around before I go because it's just so amazing here and I don't want to just fly straight off my bike. When I do get on my bike, I think I'm going to be doing 70k. Uh, it's a fairly flattish day, I think, so nothing too strenuous. Don't know what the weather has in store for me today. Will it be hot? Will it be torrential? Will it be horrendously muddy? I hope not, but yeah, I guess. Just gonna have to go find out. It's a little bit fancy. There's the pool. I mean, come on, I'm not going anywhere before swimming in this pool. No way. I like cycling, but oh. How's that bike looking? Hmm. Miraculously, my bike hasn't cleaned itself overnight. My back tire is entirely flat. Annoying. Don't want to have to put a tube in. No. It's hard to plug it without air in there, but I can't get air in there <laughs> because of the hole. Okay, it's in. Can you hear the wind howling out there? Can you hear that? Anyway, plugs in, tire's going up. Let's roll! Absolutely stunning start to this ride. I really like Carmona. Really, really like it. I wish it stayed a little longer, but I also really like riding my bike. <laughs> So quiet. Where is everyone? Work, siesta. I'm heading towards Montelano. I can't believe how quiet it is. There's barely a car on the road. I've not seen another cyclist. It's a savage headwind, but whatever for a coke in this incredibly sleepy little town I mean there's no one around everything seems to be shut it's um, six in the evening um, excuse me probably no six in the evening and uh, all I could find was one bar open so I had a coke and got some water no sign of a shop or anything even to get something to eat so just going to carry on rolling up to Mont Montalano. I think it's up a big hill. So I'm going to be pretty hungry by the time I get there. So goodbye El Coronil. Oh, it's so nice to be heading into the hills this evening after being out on the plains in the headwind. I mean, there's still a headwind, unbelievably. We even slightly changed directions, but oh, it's just so nice. All the hillsides are kind of groomed and striped from planting olive groves and uh, harvesting wheat, I don't know, but it's really pretty. Hello. It's seven in the evening and as you can tell by my sweat, still incredibly hot. So well, I'm probably going to stroke this cat for quite a long time, but when I've done that, I'm going to get a nice cold beer. Good morning. So. I'm up and out a little bit earlier today. Decided I wanted to ride on this lovely morning. I've woken up and there are beautiful golden fields behind me. It's a lovely, lovely day. And I just want to get out there and ride my bike. So I'm riding to Argos de la Frontera, I think. 
it looks like a lovely white kind of hilltop Andalusian town. I'm staying in another Parador hotel. I liked the last one. In fact, I like this one too, uh, which isn't a Parador, but this one has a cat. Um, and there's a lake there so I can swim. I'm just covering myself in sun cream and then whoosh, we're going. Hmm, I did suspect this yesterday. It turns out I've got slow puncture in the back tire. So all that faffing yesterday didn't quite solve my problems, although it did get me here. Uh, I think I'm just gonna pump it up and get going. I really just wanna ride, not do more bike faff. It's just such a lovely morning and I wanna be on the road. So yeah, maybe if I see a bike shop at the next town, then we will stock up on some more patches, tubes, CO2. Anyway, let's go. I'm going to take a slight detour from the direct route um, but I'm using the Headwater app and it recommends going down to this Via Verde which is a greenway so they've converted an old railway track into a mixed shared user kind of path. I always like those in England and then we're rolling through all I've got to do is follow the blue line on my app there's coffee stops noted. Happy days. Whew. Let's go into the hills. I hope it's estimated my arrival time wrong. It's saying it's gonna take me nine hours, nine minutes to ride this 63 kilometers. gonna be over too soon. It's already my favorite day of the trip. The scenery is just gorgeous. Much as I thought I liked riding flat stuff, when you do it for a few hours, you crave the hills and here they are. If you're gonna get picky, then in truth, a gravel bike could be better for this route but I was actually already in the Alps with my road bike when I found out I was going to be coming on this trip so I've got what I've got I have got 35 C tires on this bike and um, so I've got a slow puncture the pressure's gravel bike pressure anyway so I'm on the Via Verde it does run for 38 kilometers. I'm only doing about 10 because of the direction I'm going in. I can see on the sign there are some bike hire and repair places, cafes and whatnot. There's no traffic. There's no cyclists. I tell you what, on this whole trip, I've seen about 10 cyclists, that's it. And it's lovely and shady in between all the trees. Can you tell I am having rather a nice day. This is the nicest day of the trip so far and I've only ridden 15k. Uh, <laughs> turns out it goes through some tunnels. They're not lit. I don't have lights. Guess I'm gonna have to use my iPhone. If I can get it off this bloody quad lock. Right here we go. Oh it's a bit spooky. Oh I don't like this at all. I really don't. Thank God for that. Turn my torch off. Hmm, maybe there was something in the uh, guide about bringing lights that I missed. I really didn't like that. I know it's ever so babyish, but I found it really, really spooky and scary. Hopefully not too many more of those. I've got the navigation instructions coming through my bone conducting headphones. And then I've got little notes popping up on the Headwater app telling me what to look out for. It says, 
I'm riding through some agricultural areas where they've recently started developing vineyards. So maybe a nice wine region. Let's see if I can get a glass when I arrive. Ah, oh, so nice not have to do any planning and organization and stuff. All I've got to do is ride my bike. <laughs> Thought that might happen. That's very cool. Wow, this is really cool. Really extraordinary up there on the cliff side. I'm staying right at the top. Wow. Wow, look at the view from the terrace. Being so spoiled with these hotels. It's another super beautiful hotel. I'm just gonna have a shower and make myself marginally less disgusting. 